the comic books comes from emotional strength and emotional resiliency. These are women in these stories who get dumped by their boyfriends, are left with a baby by a husband who is abusive, um, and they have the strength to keep on going. So to me, strength is an emotional, internal strength. Um, I'm going to probably continue on the thing. I think for me, um, a strong character of any kind, any gender, is character that's well-rounded, a character with um, self-actualization. <laughs> you know, they've got their own ideas, they've got their own tasks, they've got their own things they need to accomplish. They are a fully formed character that could pretty much be plumped in and be played by either gender because everybody does the same. So I, I like to see somebody that's, that's believable and well-rounded, and that's my definition of strength a lot of times. This subject is so close to my heart because I actually just had a baby girl. And okay, so she's 11 months ago. Thank you. Well, I've been, well, well, I've been well. thinking about, oh, I've, I've been thinking about this because I feel this huge amount of pressure now. You know, I really want to raise my daughter with strength and with this, this confidence. And that's actually what I was going to add to, to what these wonderful women have said is that I really feel like with everything that we have to, men and women, have to deal with in, in society, um, all the bullets, I like to say, I feel like finding inner confidence and, and believing in yourself, even if you're in that foray of, of feeling like everyone is uh, tearing you apart, I feel like really shows strength in, in really unique ways. Uh, I've been asked this question a lot because when I first started working in comics many years ago, there were not that many female creators. There are only about five female editors and no female writers, no female artists. Uh, maybe one or two female colors. So things have definitely changed in the last 25 years. Um, I have been lucky enough to be the um, editor with, for some very strong female characters, She-Hulk, Xena, um, numerous other characters. And I have to say that I've never tried to make or, or thought of them as being gender specific. Um, you know, I look for the strong character. I look for... Uh, you know, compassion, um, you know, intuition, the things that are going to round your character out. And once again, I, I agree with what you were saying, is that those are not necessarily gender specific. It has to be a well-rounded character that makes sense, that's believable in their world. We had happened, and people started seeing all of these sexist emails from all of these top executives who were like, yeah, you know what, um, girls can't be the leads in superhero movies because Catwoman it's just uh, a bad uh, movie. It was just a bad movie. Just a bad movie. Don't you think it also depends on what part of comics you're looking at as well? Because I think if you're looking just at superhero, I think the change, I mean, that's obviously our biggest category, but that's where um, changes is sort of slowly creeping in. Yeah. Um, but if you look at a lot of other genres within comics, there have been women with for a long time. Yeah. And there have been women that, that are not necessarily drawn to you. I think Alison Bechdel is a good example of that. Yeah. I mean, a very human character. But, uh, but again, we, when we talk about comics here, <laughs> a lot of times we tend to default to superhero. And that's, sure. that is not the only. I really wish that the literary industry could catch up with, 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 with current times because I was asked to hide the fact that I was a female writer writing this book. Wow. I was asked to change the female character protagonist to a male protagonist. I had so much backlash and I had to fight and fight and fight to keep it because I said, why should I hide? Like, why, you know, I had it, 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 it was a video game thriller. And the literary industry was yeah. certain this that is, there were more yeah. game, male gamers than female, but they didn't no, know this is that, they, that actually this year, <laughs> The, the, the ESA just came out with the current report that showed that there are more female gamers now. So it just kills me that I, I, I you, know, you feel like you're on a lone battle sometimes. Yeah. You can't get the industry to catch up. what I mean when it's not just comics. Yeah. It's, it's not. Everything. Oh, yes. Yeah, definitely not just comics. <laughs> no, and you know, it's not, upsettingly enough, it is not the first time I've heard that. Um, and when I when I actually wrote the story about the about the news, for, it was originally at that point 49% of gamers were women and more women were purchasing games than men. Um, and I wrote that story. There's more of an opportunity to stand out.
No. No. No, I think there's one female character in there because they didn't think guys would buy it if it was a split team. Um, because you could say the same thing about the guy characters. Do they need an extra opportunity to stand out? No, they don't. You, your characters stand out when you write them that way. I don't, and that's, that's I, I think, part of the reason you do see that team that way is because a lot of writers were guys and a lot of them were very uncomfortable doing um, a female character. And some of the older people that I've spoken to in the industry say, well, I tried to write more and I was told no. So, um, you know, I even, because I, like I said, I did a show with Stan Lee and we talked a lot during the show and, you know, he's got plenty of female characters and, you know, you're also filtering them through a time period. So if you look at early Sue Storm, not as, not as full of agency as she is now. Or you look at when Wonder Woman was a secretary for the Justice League. Uh, yeah, that happened. Yeah, so. <laughs> mm. they are they are dependent on the culture of red men. Yeah, a lot of times. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely the romance. Sorry, I'm the romance comics, but that's what I do. So <laughs> yeah, that's my thing. Um, but they, you know, they were secretaries. They were. Um, you know, they called them stewardesses back then because that those were the jobs available to women during that time period, so it was reflected in the comic books. Um, now, a lot of times they were able to sort of get out of that role, and I've, there's a couple stories, actually Charlton stories, about women who went to become uh, stewardesses because they wanted to be pilots. So, you know. By the way, nothing wrong with being a secretary or a flight Nope. I, uh, I was just going to piggyback off of what we're generally what you said, and uh, I've had male authors confide in me that they are afraid to write female characters because they're afraid of getting it wrong. But what I tell them is, just ask. Just, yeah. just ask. Yeah, ask. Do some this. research and ask. You know, how would you feel in this situation? And, and it, it can go miles. Because I don't, you know, we don't uh, uh, run away from writing male characters, right? Because I ask. I ask my husband and my friends. I had to write a, a skateboarding scene. I have never skateboarded in my life, but you know, I was writing about this boy who was skateboarding, and so I asked, I interviewed, and I was just, I was determined to get it right, and then I did, because I did go that extra mile. To it's part of the job to do the research, yes, because that's something where, like, if 